welcome to a series I've been wanting to do on my YouTube channel for almost a year now. This is all about making roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 that have a realistic feel to them. Whether you're recreating a park you like, or you want to make your own park but make it realistic, or just find the stuff interesting to listen to, I hope you like this video series. For simplicity purposes, I am shortening the title to Coaster Type of the Week. We will be discussing 21 types of roller coasters in the game in the order in which you first find out about them. Here's what I mean. In the first game, the two coaster types available are the wooden and junior roller coasters, and you get the steel coaster as the first researchable type in the scenario, so that's why these are the first three parts to the series. To look at some realistic designs, we will look at real coasters of the same kind, as well as their manufacturers, plus a little bit of design. Don't worry, it sounds complicated, but we will go through this one at a time. And just so you know, I am not a ride engineer, but I do hope to be one someday. All these facts come from my observations as a roller coaster enthusiast, and there are a lot. For our pilot episode for Coaster Type of the Week, we're going to look at the Wooden Coaster. This is arguably the most famous and recognizable type of roller coaster. Your first big roller coaster is probably going to be one of these, as it was for me. It's a great way to get a little bit of an intense ride while not going through any crazy elements. They're made by several different types of manufacturers. Let's go over them. First, there is Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters, who has made a lot of wooden coasters in the past. If you've ridden like kind of a very old wooden coaster, it's probably one of theirs. Although they don't design them anymore, but they still design trains for wooden coasters. Then there's also Din Corporation, whose coasters haven't really aged that well but they were important to the development of future roller coasters. Then there's CCI, or Custom Coasters International, which is now defunct, although they were also very important. There's Great Coasters International, or GCI, famous for their twisting spaghetti bowl wooden coasters, and their Millennium Fire trains, which are famous for their comfort. And then there's Gravity Group, who started as recently as 2002, and they make coasters, some big, some small, and they have their own train type called Timberliners, which are also very comfortable. Rocky Mountain Construction also has wooden coasters, although since their design is a lot different from classic wooden coasters, we're going to get back to them later. Now, wooden coasters can come in all different shapes and sizes, but there are a few that I've noticed throughout my observations that are more common than others. First, there's an out and back layout, like this one here. This I call you better run at Triple J World. It's not a real amusement park, obviously, but I try to make them somewhat realistic. This is supposed to be a very old wooden coaster that doesn't have many turns due to its thin plot of land, but has lots of airtime. Real life examples of this could include Rebel Yell or Racer 75 at King's Min or Racer at King's Island. There are also sometimes called spaghetti bowl coasters, other times twister wooden coasters, which are focused on sub drops, but also a lot of turns. More often than not, these have Millennium Flyers because they are made by Great Coasters International, which is very famous for putting a modern twist on wooden roller coasters. And there are some wooden coasters that sort of act as both. They're more long than wide, and they also go over themselves in this way. Just like Comet, also at Triple J World in my own plays. Some examples of this that I can think of are Comet at Waldmere Park, which is partially where this comet gets its name from. And there's also the Coney Island Cyclone, which can fit into this category. This is an example of 
a wooden coaster that takes the shape of the Coney Island Cycle, one of the most famous coasters ever built. And as you can see here, it's more long than wide, and a lot of the track often goes around or over or under itself. It's also really cool to have racing wooden coasters. Examples of this are the Colossus tracks at Six Flags Magic Mountain before they were changed to Twisted Colossus. As you can see here, well, even ignoring the ones that I've made, there are a lot of different options that wooden coasters in the game give you. Some of them are realistic, others not so much. This is an example of a GCI, uh, and oh yeah, it also shows real ones. My favorite one of all time is El Toro, which is actually made by Intamin, and it is their prefabricated design. There are only four of these in the world, and they're much taller and a lot smoother than some other wooden coasters you might have ridden before. Now, there are a couple of pre-built designs that I do not think fit into what a good wooden coaster should be. For example, this one called Ricochet. The only problem I have with it is that it has a vertical loop, and while it is really cool in concept, for a wooden coaster to have, a, to have a vertical loop. The only real life example of this is the now defunct Son of Beast at King's Island, which had a lot of problems, most of which weren't related to the loop, but it just had such a bad reputation for being rough that no other coaster made of wood has had a vertical loop. And some of these that aren't based on real life coasters, especially these that start with you that are from Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, like, that one, ugh, what's with that turn thing, and, oh, the, what the, oh, okay, that one is, it has too many supports everywhere, this one's far too spread out, this one doesn't even have, have any bank turns where there should be, this one, it, it's way too spirally and huge, and, who made these? Okay, this one's actually fine, but why is it in different colors? What else? This one, also really ugly. And, oh my. What is this? Some of these. Uh, I will go through specific examples to show you why they're not realistic. This one is called Rough Rider. Okay, well, Rough Rider, this could happen, but I really don't like how the lift hill is in different slopes here, and that, that's just not great, and how the station is really short, and how there's only one section of break, and also this huge spiral thing, uh, if you need to get a little bit of elevation and curve, just do one or two of these half spiral things and call it done, I really don't like how it's piled up like this. That's something that only steel coasters can really do. This one, Touchwood, while it's compact, I just don't like how the two chain lifts are separate and uh, it just doesn't look very pleasing to the eye. That's one thing I really like about wooden coasters in real life. They have to look pleasing to the eye. And I don't like this one called Brainstorm. Main reason why is that these turns right here are way too thin for their height. Now, I know I said something about bank turns before, but if it's a very slow turn, you can make it non-banked like this, just because at that slow of a speed, that's better for the riders that they're not tilted at such an unnatural angle for so long. If it was shorter, I can understand, but right now, no, I just don't like it that way, and it just doesn't look pleasing to the eye again, and there are just so many turns that don't go with the ride, and it just doesn't know what kind of coaster it wants to be, if you know what I mean. And what do you think is wrong with this one? Well, nothing actually, but you know what I hate about it? Is that it, it's, they literally named it after an app where every single woman asks you to be six feet tall. Now, to prevent your wooden coaster from looking like this, you want to do this for any coaster, but you want to take a look at your plot of land and decide what kind of coaster would be good for this. If it's thin, you want a out and back layout. If it's small, but 
there's about the same length on all sides. You can make a spaghetti bowl size. And this coaster, which actually used to exist, it's called Texas Giant, goes around in spirals. That's very good for a large piece of land. And what do I do with it? And this is kind of hard to explain because there are many different types of wooden coasters out there, as I said before, is that you want to make it intense and with the proper amount of hills, depending on what kind of ride you want to make. Of course, try not to let it hit the ground because wooden track on the ground doesn't look great. You want wood to be showing below it at most times. You want it to be intense and have hills, but you also want to make it look natural. Like, this is fine. There are hills and some sprout sections, but it doesn't do any crazy gymnastics where uh, it goes was away from the general structure of it and look all crazy and wacky. It's wood. It isn't extremely strong, so you want it to work the track with itself. Again, it's kind of hard to explain. And the perfect height is anywhere between 45 and 120 feet, which is between one and four of these steep pieces down. And I guess that's all you need to start learning about how to make realistic wooden coasters. As you can see, I've made a couple of them in my own personal time playing this game. Just like this very short family style GCI, which I believe looks great. This CCI, which I've made about three years ago. And in places like this, it could use some improvement, but over here, it's like perfect. And this um, back coaster, which I really love, and this one, which I didn't really focus on realism, I just went my own, but it still looks fantastic, and something that a manufacturer would do in real life. And for longer rides like this, you want a mid-course break run, which I will build sometimes, depending on whether it's needed. And as you can see, it goes with the structure, and it doesn't have any crazy turns. The spiral looks big, but uh, I think it's just fine with the kind of coaster it is. And those are some designs you can use for your wooden coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This one is a very good coaster too, that goes with its terrain I see. This is a very famous one among Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 players. So I hope you found these useful and or enjoyable. Leave a like if you thought so and subscribe if you like to see more and if you like to see more as well i've uploaded two other videos for realistic roller coasters on the same day as this one so right now one of them is for the junior coaster the other is for steel coasters or the looping coaster and afterwards i will have one of these videos uploaded per week on saturdays at 9 a.m and I will keep uploading them in the order in which you first see them until we get to those 21 that I thought were worth sharing. So, thank for watch.